Welcome back to Plug and Play V. I'm Steve, and in this one, we're going down to New York City for a quick charge at the Gravity Charging Center in the middle of Manhattan. The center opened uh, about a month, month and a half ago at uh, 42nd Street, uh, 10th and 9th Avenue kind of area, right in the center of New York City. So uh, very, very densely populated, busy, busy area. Our headline claim was uh, 500 kilowatts uh, of power, which maxes out anything that's on the market right now. So it's not a claim that we can fully test, obviously, but it would be something interesting to test with a bunch of different cars that can pull, you know, 200, 300 kilowatts. It'd certainly be interesting to see because they do have 24 stalls there how much power would be distributed um, couldn't do that this time it wasn't quite that busy and as you'll see there were an interesting variety of uh, cars in there but uh, for the sake of going down there and taking a look I think this is a good one hopefully next time we'll have a fully warmed pack lots more vehicles and we'll be able to test it a little more but for the moment it is on paper the uh, fastest charging hub in the country and definitely an interesting place to scout out if you're in the area So just continuing the point, lots of BZ4X, lots of Toyotas. You take card or no, how, how'd you pay? After you finish charging, yeah. then you pay after. Okay, gotcha. The booth over there or just to you? No, that's come to Okay, the gotcha, thank you. Okay, do you want me to turn it off? Got it, thank you. Okay, so again, I think that is the uh, battery pack, the limiting factor there. So we'll have a look around whilst we wait for that to get up to a temperature that will be more impressive power delivery. But as I say, you can see some electric cabinets and hardware in the back there. Looks like I can see, I'm trying to see the number of green lights, one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly. But you can see from the location, quite a few BZ4X. In fact, pretty much everything here is a BZ4X. I have to figure out what is going on with that. But as far as we're concerned here, got them lit up green if they're charging a vehicle and blue if they're free. So you've got that, not that you have to worry about it because you have the kind gentleman coming across to plug you in. And uh, let's go and have a look while we wait for the battery temperature to pick up at the lounge over there and what else we can film. Okay, so I probably didn't catch it there. It did hit 150 briefly. 
There you go, there's the magical past 70 degrees Fahrenheit. 69 really, it's uh, 20 degrees Celsius, 20.5, whatever. Um, but getting up there now, but this may be it, uh, not figuring it doesn't need to go really too hard now. But I think my instinct with it going up to 150 there, other than the power fluctuations, are that you could probably get full power here. I don't think there's any reason to believe you wouldn't. Um, that has obviously gone up as the pack temperatures increased, and uh, this is kind of seems to be where the Ionic 5 wants to be. You've got 170 odd amps there, 780 volts, and uh, that's probably all I'm going to get because by the time we start getting into the 70s, it doesn't want to be uh, anywhere near 240. And uh, it's done its bit, so it wasn't actually a bad charge time to 80% here as we start to get into the higher, the hundreds there. But shame we couldn't get it right from the start, but not a bad charge time. You've got a bolt just for a little bit of diversity over there that was actually charging. Um, not pulling out too much, of course, but a good location for it. And there's nothing really here. Um, the toilet was just the uh, local parking garage, so that could just be timing. It's only been open for uh, a month or so, and uh, they may be working on other facilities. This may just be the test bed for what they need to do. Uh, as I say, you've got the equipment in the back there. Looks like the rest of this is just a normal parking garage, so they've uh, allocated this space for the uh, hardware. And most of it is these neat little, as they say, suitcase size um, charging boxes. And then all the action is really happening back here. That's where my uh, my power is coming from. These are just very, very thick delivery cables. And again, I haven't actually touched them because uh, he plugged in. But you can see this one, um, certainly chunky, but not any bigger really than an Electrify America from my perspective. So we've got some interesting cable management at the top there, which I'll take a picture of as well. But I think in terms of power, that's all we're going to see. And we're going to close in the uh, session to 80% here, which will probably be about 20, 25 minutes. So actually fairly similar to a regular old Electrify America 150 kilowatt, but that's as much on the car as anything else. So very interesting site to be at. So I've set us to 80%. You can see it's on its own taper now. And then just ramping down that current. 121 right now. And that will shut itself off once it hits 80%. And I wonder if that will trigger the chap to come along or if I will have to do that myself. I've had the odd power fluctuation, nothing major, but there you go. That's it all finished. Battery level is at the target, which I'll put back to 90%. And I don't know if that will have anyone come across, but maybe I'll unplug and be cheeky just to get my own feel on that cable. It's all on there. It's got an industrial strength holster in the wall. A bit of regular cable management on there. And there you go. Okay, so uh, interesting. I'll get a receipt, but it's just the guy emailing me <laughs> from his uh, personal account. So no automated stuff. It's just like a square kind of reader. And they tapped the card and it was about 21 bucks for who knows what. Hopefully it says in the... thing there but the hub or the lounge there is just for the attendant so you are on your own it's obviously the center of New York so you can go and do something interesting but uh, as far as anything else goes getting out of here is also a little bit weird because you're right offset so you're not really supposed to be across the traffic but anyway we'll get out move ourselves on and be done with it. Really odd location.
probably the last place you'd expect to find fast charging, but I'm confident you would get a pretty solid session. Don't know if it would have maxed out the Ionic 5, but we got up to 150 kilowatts. And away we go to uh, the slightly less busy streets of upstate New York.